talking old fuddy duddies. We're talking about I Delaney. Delaney. I, yeah, Delaney, you know, uh, Ramlet. I mean, he was really an amazing guy. I mean, I was always a big fan of his music and him and Bonnie, you know, and I, I and I, I really like that soul, Southern kind of, you know, real kind of people from the earth kind of sound, you know, just really a natural uh, flow. And I was amazed to uh, realize that he uh, was real influence to Dwayne Allman, you know, Eric Clapton, J.J. Kale, which is one of my favorite singers and performers. I mean, J.J. Kale was just amazing. And he influenced those guys. And, you know, I never really, I never really uh, got into the, the whole career of his and stuff because there was no internet, you know, it was really, unless you got every album and read and you knew about stuff that you had seen before, uh, you didn't really know, you know, today you can find out anything about anybody, you know? Uh, so it's, it's a whole different world, but, you know, I did know the influences that he had. I did know what a pioneer he was in that genre of music. And, 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 you know, he was just a really amazing guy. Well, you know, what ended up happening if you, we have to go back a little bit before we go forward with this, but you remember I talked about Bill Levy. He was the creative director at Decca Records. He's the one that I, you know, became really good friends with after the Jesus Christ Superstar album. And he brought me in and really taught me how to be a creative director. He was a wonderful person. And we used to party big time. I mean, it was cra crazy. He lived in Sutton Place. We lived in Brooklyn. And he and his secretary, Claudia, would come over to our place in Brooklyn and we'd be partying just crazy stuff we do. We had a pull chain toilet. And when all of us would get in the bathroom, it was a little tiny bathroom. And we'd play with the chain, making all these gurgling sounds and stuff. I mean, it was, he was just, he was an older gentleman, but he was really cool. He was really in touch. He was a big music fan. You know, he, he loved his job. And, you know, being creative director at Decca Records was a big responsibility. Well, after in 1975, so Pacific Iron Ear started in 72. We stayed friends. He sent us that Lucy graph that he had gotten when Decca moved to a new space and he didn't have room for it. So he sent it to us, Lucy graph. It was an amazing piece of equipment that really allowed, you know, Drew Struzan and Bill Garland and Carl and all those guys to use it. And myself, you know, we, we didn't have to order stats. So it was, this was this big machine and it had a, you put the artwork up like this on a, thing that went back and forth on a rail and it had a projection thing that would project it down bigger or smaller onto whatever surface you're putting it on and uh, that really helped because we would do smaller sketches and then put it in the lucy graph and blow it up and tighten it up and get scrap and you know we'd cut scrap out of books and use that to to put in the lucy graph because it was it was a great piece of equipment anyway you know then he and so in 75 he moved from Decca to uh, Polydor. He moved to Polydor Records. And, you know, he, he, first thing that he did, 1975, was he gave us, he reached out to me and said, look, I've got this album that I'm going to be doing for Delaney uh, and Blue Diamond. And I thought right away, Delaney and Bonnie, you know, because that's mm -hmm. really, it was always Delaney and Bonnie. It's like, you know, peas and carrots, you know, it's like kit and caboodle, you, they go together. And, uh, and so, you know, he said, I'm going to be doing this uh, album for Delaney and Blue Diamond. And I figured it was Delaney and Bonnie. And that was the name of the new album, Blue Diamond. I didn't know it was a group. So he said, I'm, I'm going to be coming out there. He was an incredible photographer, by the way. And he had a great um, one up on every other photographer because he was with Decca Records. He could get backstage passes. He could get front row seats to just about anybody that was in, you know, performing. Uh, and so he got all this great photography. And, and so he said, I'm going to be coming out to LA. They have a Delaney and Bonnie have a ranch in the Hills there in, in Hollywood. And uh, we're, I'm going to come out. It was actually in the Canyon and I'm going to come out and mm -hmm. I'm going to be shooting the thing. Let's work on the album together. Cause we really hadn't worked on anything since uh, I, he, I left and, you know, came to LA for Craig Braun and then started Pacific Guy in Year. We stayed friends, but I didn't really work with him anymore. But yet he taught me so much in the, that 